Welcome to GoToWebinar, web events made easy. Welcome to the webinar. You have entered as an organizer and may now speak to any other organizers or panelists on the line. When you are ready to begin the presentation, press the Start Broadcast button on the GoToWebinar control panel to allow all attendees to hear you. This system will notify you once you begin your broadcast. Okay, hopefully we're not going to have any more glitches here. Uh, let me see here. <coughs> Uh, could you, uh, could everybody just indicate to me in the questions area, can you see my screen now? I'm hoping you can. Can you? Can you see my screen? Just hit yes in the questions area, just so I know it can be seen. <clears throat> everybody, can you see my screen? Let me know. If you can hear me and you can see me and see my screen, put yes in the questions area, please. I have no indication whether, there we go. Thank you, guys. Um, sorry about that uh, little uh, glitch there. Um, there were some uh, problems. When you have two people on the system uh, using the same name, uh, it's a problem. So thank you for being here. So first off, um, I do these every Wednesday. If you haven't been on one before, thank you very much for being here. If you've been here before, thank you for being here again. And if you want to see recordings of previous webinars, all you have to do is go to fredgleek.com and click on the webinars button here and uh, you can see all the past ones and we've done tons of them you just click on webinars right like that and you can see all the ones that you want okay so that's uh, just a little bit of housekeeping for you there and let's go ahead and uh, what I wanted to do is cover some of the things that were covered and I see that uh, Bill DeWeese you were there yes coming in Bill is coming in Bill I see you're there right Bill may not be able to hear me yet. Bill Deweese, you are there? He can't respond because he always has mic issues when he does. There we go. Okay. So, uh, I'm here. Okay, super. Yeah, well, what I promised people I'd cover today is three things, and then we can cover anything else we want. But I wanted to cover these three things that I, I sent people in my uh, email blast to give them an idea of what it is uh, they were going to be doing. I also found it very interesting that... Uh, Anyway, there's a whole bunch of here's. Let me just go over this three tiered pricing model. Somebody just, I sat down. Uh, not was it yesterday? Maybe it was yesterday. I think I sat down yesterday morning with a guy who's going to be helping me with a poker site. He happens to be a uh, body language person, and so um, what I decided to do was to give him three ways in which I would use his services. Number one was, you know. Uh, flat fee up front. Number two was reduced fee up front plus a percentage and a percentage only deal. So this one, uh, and the way that I did it for him, and I, I, I outlined it exactly as I'll outline it here for you, which is I said, this would be a flat fee of X. This would be one half X. Put the dollar sign in front of this. One half X plus 5%. And this deal was 10%. So it gives you a little bit of an idea here and it, it really, then it says, so, so what I asked him, I said, well, let me tell, he said, well, I've never done this before. How do you normally do this? So I told him that in virtually this, this particular one for me is a less than 1%. I think I may have only done it once in my life. This is about, I'd say this is probably is it maybe eh, maybe 10 percent of the time I use this model and then the vast majority of the time I use this one so let's just make it an even 90 percent so 90 percent of the time I'm looking for deals where people will do a strict percentage deal or what most people would call depending on what industry you're in a spec deal and in this spec deal they would become for me a variable cost rather than any kind of a fixed cost 
Here there are marginally fixed costs, and here there are definitely a fixed cost. Now there are pluses and minuses, obviously, to doing this. Now, if I'm going to sell a boatload of these things, and let's just assume, for sake of example, that um, I paid this guy $2,000 for his participation. And what it was is for him to participate uh, with a poker site, and he's a body language expert, to, to do some research, to watch some people online as they play poker, and to develop a list of sort of suggestions he would give. Now, somebody, Bill, either you or Avish are having problems where I'm hearing a lot of noise coming off your mic, so you may want to mute yourselves. Um, so what I said was, you know, you would watch the videos and then you, we would put together a video on how to do it right. And I had a, an actor who would be participating, et cetera, et cetera. So in this deal, it would be $2,000 up front for him. Uh, in this deal right here, it would be $1,000 up front for him. And in this deal, it would be $0 up front for him. But all of this, this would be plus, obviously, the 5%. And this plus 10%. And 10% and 5% of, I should clarify this, of gross sales. So naturally, one of his questions was, well, how many of these do you expect to sell? And I said, you know what, i got to be honest, I have no idea because I've never done a poker site. I have no, I have no clue. But what, we should, what you should think about is when you set up deals like this, is to throw in some dummy numbers just to see what happens. So in this case, I'm giving him $2,000 up front. Let's assume, for the sake of this example, so let's assume product sells for $100. Make it really easy to compute here. So, and then also assume 20 sales. So at 20 sales, if I paid him up front, this to me would be a break even at just 20 sales because I'm, you know, 20 times 100 equals 2,000. In a situation like this, if I made 20 sales, he'd be getting, okay, so he'd be getting 1,000 plus 5% of the gross sales, and 5% of the gross here would be 20 sales times that, that'd be 2,000, so that'd be 100. So he would get obviously eleven $1 hundred dollars whoops eleven $1 hundred and in this case he would make two hundred bucks so right now the way this is looking is um, at two at 20 units sold it's a great deal for me to go with the third option here so this is option one this is option two and this is option three now very few people, unless, very few people tend to want to agree to this deal, the percentage only deal, which has, again, the highest risk, yet highest reward, obviously. Because in the event that instead of 20 sales, we made 200 sales, they would just have to increase this one to, uh, so 200 sales, that's, what's that, $20,000. Uh, so that makes it uh, $2,000. And so now all of a sudden, if we're selling 200 units or more, this becomes the best deal for him. Uh, in this scenario, if we sold 200 units, it'd be 1,000 plus 5%. So it'd be $1,000 plus 5%, which would be, I guess that'd be another 1,000, right? I think that's right. Yeah, I think that's the break even. And so that would equal 2,000 bucks. So in this case, the 200 units of sales makes everything come out to almost exactly even. In fact, I think it, it is, except now this would be 2,100, I think here. 2,100, is that right? No, maybe not. Maybe no. It's exactly two thousand. So this is the this is the point at which all of these are exactly even. But any units sold over two hundred units, it would be better for him. And uh, I mean, yeah, it'd be better for him. But also, in my case, you you see the numbers. And my point is, 
uh, you see the numbers here, and so these are the three types of deals that you can do. Uh, like I said, I've done less than 1% flat fees up front. I've done some of the deals where I've done this, and I've done most of the deals where I've done the 10% spec deal. And by the way, the one where I've done a, a reduced fee plus percentage was actually with a guy who now works for Peter Jackson, uh, the guy that did all the Hobbit movies. He's down in New Zealand, and he's one of his, you know, main, I don't know if he's a main, but he's a big, big shot artist within that group. And he, he did some covers to some of my old videos for the self-storage industry years ago. And, uh, you know, I ended up having to pay him some, some additional dollars because he took a deal like this. So I just wanted to cover you. And so if you're producing information products, this is certainly a way that you should consider um, and understand that you've got three different options here. So know that uh, and anything like that. Okay, before we go on, let me just say, um, let's see here. What else? What other questions do we have? Any other questions on that before I move on to the others? So any other questions? Okay, any questions, any questions on that? Anything on the three items? Um, somebody might be thinking to themselves, well, when, you know, when do you use each of these? And my, you know, my predisposition is to always go for this deal because I, I actually hope that I have to pay this guy more money because I'm selling a lot of units. Because if we get to selling 300 units, now all of a sudden he's making three grand, but who cares? I'm making plenty of money too, because if that at three grand, he'd make three grand, and I'd be making, I think it's 27. And, you know, let that be my big, biggest problem. Also, from a standpoint, from a business standpoint, I think that it's better uh, to get some... Uh, uh, yeah, Pam, I can't help you on the hissing noise. It happens. So it might be your it might be your system. I don't know if anybody else is getting hissing noise. But I want questions regards this issue. Okay, here's one. What duration of sales do you use? First 12 months. Good question from Bruce. Bruce, the answer is this is an ad infinitum deal. In other words, if somebody goes with a percentage deal, this deal goes on forever. Um, and therefore, they are going to continue to participate in the revenue forever. So a percentage deal is basically, for me, I think a good deal because it makes them a variable cost, but it's a great deal for them in that, in that they get paid forever, okay? So that's what I would sort of point you towards is understanding those different things. So duration of sales in terms of Bruce's question, first 12 months, no, this is like a forever deal. Now in this case, it's obviously get paid once you're done. In these two cases, both of them are forever deals. So whatever happens, they're going to be participating in profit. And by the way, when you do this with people, um, you, you, you definitely, when you hit a, a big number, um, you want to get, you know, you want to, you'll understand that you have a situation where you can, you can make somebody a variable cost, but they also will make a lot of money. And if you help them make a lot of money, they will come back and do more work with you. Um, so that's, critically essential. So let's see here. Um, let's go on. Okay. So now to the next one here, which I promised you we would also talk about the uh, how I use writing as a marketing tool and how you can as well. I was able to get, uh, well, first off, you know, there's, let me just give you a couple of items here. Number one is uh, Amazon physical books. And I'll just make some notes here. Kindle books. Um, articles for fee. Uh, let's see here. Blog posts and this I guess you'd probably really care. Yeah, guess although I haven't done one of those. I haven't done any of those yet. Guest posts. So and then finally you've got something that uh, one of uh, one of my buddies who I don't know if he got back on the call or not but Bill Ballou has uh, helped me to get a, a, the uh, the work with the examiner, and the examiner is a company that that hires that basically people write articles. That's sort of an interesting model. Dave, mute yourself if you would. Um, so what happens is that the examiner, and this was courtesy of my buddy Bill Ballou. Um, and I think that that site, by the way, which we can start more liberally promoting now, is, let me just make sure I have it right, is it get10k.net? Yeah, get 
Bill has been working with me and all of the other JV partners um, to help generate traffic. I would suggest that all of you go visit this site. I'm not sure what kind of a deal we're giving right now. Let's take a look at what's priced at right now. So if you go through this, uh, it's 97 bucks. That's going to be going up. And here is Bill. So you want to go ahead and take a look at that as soon as you possibly can because that's a pre-pre-pre-publication price. And um, let me explain to you. So Bill put that site together, and it's, it's just so you have it. It's get, get10k.net. And I was going to say that Bill, who is Bill Blue, helped me to get this job with the examiner. And the examiner, just to show you what that is, let me just see. No, that's not what I wanted. I'm not going to put an additional tab here. Examiner.com. And so examiner is one of the most uh, well, most widely viewed sort of news sites online. And one of the ways that you would know that is, whoops, I did not mean to do that. I meant to do this. Hold on a second. I wanted to do this. Command T. And I wanted to do www.alexa.com. And when you go to Alexa, we can put in... Uh, and I, I don't know if we have to put the W. I think so. Examiner.com. Now let's see what that comes up with. So what we're showing you, what I'm showing you here is the popularity of this particular site. And when it comes up here, it'll show you some data on this particular site that does a lot of news things. <laughs> so I'm hired sort of as a, uh, and I'll show you that in a second here too. But I'm hired to... Uh, to write articles, but I only get paid when people view the articles. So here's examiner.com. It's rank right now. Query possibly. Let me just see here. Site linking in 96,000. Let me see. I think there's some more, should be some info on traffic. Uh, let's see here. Huh, no rank in the U.S.? No, that's baloney. It's got to have a rank. Oh, wait a second here. Huh. I'm not understanding it. The site metric are not uh, get surveyed. Nah. Uh, last time I looked at this, it was like 179th in the entire, on the entire web, meaning to say it's a pretty popular site. So let me get back to how this is. So what the model here is, the examiner, is you write articles. And by the way, anyone can apply to become an examiner, as they call them, once you're in there. So um, sign up. You click over here, right? And this allows you to sign up to become one of their, one of their reporters, basically. Now, what's in it for you? What's in it for you are a couple different things. And, and go ahead and check this out once you get off the webinar here. But number one, you write articles and you get paid based on the number of page views that an article gets. So you're trying to get traffic for your own material. You're trying to get the word out there using social media and everything else. And I don't think, I don't think Bill, Bill would be a, object to my saying that there are something like, and I may have this wrong, but there's something like 30,000 plus people who are reporters for the examiner. And, and this is why I want you to believe that Bill Ballou knows what he's talking about. Um, Bill is responsible for something like 7.5% of all traffic going to the site. He is the number one most read, most well-read writers for this publication. And how did he do that? <laughs> Using the system that you would find in here, get 10K. So that means that Bill has figured out how to make traffic work and we have hard data to support it. Now, what happens is, since he gets a lot of traffic, then the examiner writes him a big check every month because the compensation is based on how many people view your articles on the site and you are compensated based on the number of page views. So that's kind of cool. So how I use writing as a marketing tool, I write physical books, and I would encourage you to do that. And I know Bill DeWeese, what, Bill, why don't you unmute yourself? 
if you're there still. Bill, you there? Yes. Okay, so in Bill's case, um, he is putting together an outline for a book on voice over voiceovers. And then, because Bill's time is very limited, because he actually, believe it or not, he's giving advice on how to make money in the voiceover business, God forbid he's actually doing it. So, you know, as opposed <laughs> to so many other people that sell stuff and they're not really doing it. So Bill doesn't have a lot of time. So I said, here's what you do. Put together an outline. So he's got the outline, or he will have the outline. Then he's going to come to Vegas sometime over the 6th to the 8th of October. And we're going to basically record our chat about the various topics in the outline. Correct me if I'm wrong, Bill. Correct. And from that, produce a transcript, get it edited, and produce a book, both physical and ebook. So that's what we're going to be doing. And uh, because Bill's a busy guy and is actually working in the voiceover business, we're going to be doing that. And that's what's going to happen. So now one of the things we should talk about, Bill, did you have a chance to get together yet? I'm maybe a little bit premature. Did you have a chance to hook up with Steve, the book guy? Well, I, I emailed him. I have not heard back yet. I gave him our title and asked him to put together a couple of ideas for us. Okay, and let me promote Steve as well. This is a new guy that I just met who, and let me just bring up, um, do you have his email address sitting around? I think it's, is it Vectrix? I forget. Vectrix. I can, I'll find it yeah, for you. While, while you're looking for it. But the, but the beauty of this guy is, what I love about this guy is, number one, he, he can do book covers. Okay, he can do book covers. But his pricing model is purely time based. And so when I showed him the cover to my book, Sell Your Brain Power, which if you don't have it yet, you should go out and buy it. Um, but if you haven't seen that, it is this. Let's do it in books and let's do Sell Your Brain Power. This cover right here is and if you looked at the, the book, I don't have the full cover, but it's a front, back, and spine. If you looked at that book cover, um, I don't remember how much I paid. I think I paid a really low price, something like $350. After looking at the cover, I said to Steve, and his name is Steve, and do you have that yet, Bill? In terms of his yeah, I just put it in the uh, chat window. V e c t y r okay. Steve at vector .com. Okay, hold on here. Are you getting a continual hiss by any time, by any chance, Bill? Yes, you are. Yeah, off and on. Really? Huh? Yeah. I have no idea, folks, what that is. But if you're having a hard time with it, I apologize. I'm not getting any of it on my side. But if it's bothering you a lot, uh. Just hang up and then watch the recording because you'll have none of that because I'm not getting it on this side. So you'll be able to watch it later if it's really bugging you. I completely understand. So Steve at Vectrix, is it? What is it? Uh, V-E-C-T-Y-R dot com. Vector. Y-R dot com. And let's go there yeah. just to show people. V-E-C-T-Y-R dot com. And so I, I'm going to show you. So now check him out, and he's done a bunch of stuff. He's got all different kinds of things, including a book cover. So, but he does, he's done a bunch of them. He just put one of them up on his site. Of course, we can't see that for some reason. There's some kind of a problem, probably on my side. But if you, now here's what, by the way, purely time-based, Steve said to me that he would have been able to do my book in about two hours max. And he only charges you for the amount of time used, which means that at, where's my at sign here, at 85 bucks per hour, I would have paid 170 bucks for this cover. Now, that is incredibly reasonable. So what I would encourage you to do is to talk to Steve 
And uh, if you need, you know, if you're going to get a book done, get a quote from him because this is incredibly reasonable. Now, what I'm also having him do is I'm having him use my book as sort of a template setup. So if, if all you do is use the same sort of system or, or same layout in terms of spine, uh, back, and front cover as I have, all you need to do is tell them what kind of a graphic image you want. So let's go through yours. Bill, so the name we finally decided was how to start and build a killer. What is it? What did we do? What did we come up with, Bill? Bill six huh? figure. Uh, six voice figure. Over. A six figure voice over business. And then our subtitle was um, Set Your VO Career on Fire. Yes. Yeah, something. Set. Like that your VO career, voiceover, career on fire. And so we give him the title, and we give him the subtitle, and we would give Steve a few different ideas that we had. And, and one of them I had was a uh, person speaking, speaking into the mic, and out the other side comes dollar signs or something like that. So, and of course, there's going to be some fiery image there too with flames or something, whatever. So, but we said, I said to Steve, I said, and again, this is part of the, this is part of the $85 per hour. You have to pay for this. And in doing that, you're, you know, that's part of the deal. Is And, and I asked Steve if he would put together three different three different images just sort of quick and dirty sort of quick and dirty for us to look at and after putting in the three different images he'd give us an idea and we would go from there and we say oh we really like that one let's stick with that and so then we'd give him the copy the back copy so when this is all said and done I think we're going to get one heck of a great uh, book cover for under 500 bucks, definitely. Under $300, very possibly. And under a hundred and under $200, very possibly as well. And so, you know, being the kind of cheap guy that I am, looking to get the best deal possible, I would highly recommend you talk to this guy. So, doing physical books, one of the things I do to market Kindle books, we've talked a lot about that in the past on this site, kdp.amazon.com. And as I told everyone, and that's still continuing to pull in about $500 per month. I haven't had time to do anything, any writing in the past three months. So even with no writing, and if you guys don't believe me, of course, you shouldn't only believe. The only numbers you believe should be your own, by the way. Uh, let's go to kdp.amazon.com. And I'll show you this is in real time, my real numbers. And I will show you what the numbers are over the last six weeks and if we take a look so over the last six weeks I'll go down to the bottom line here 696.95 so that means 690 so that's six let's six nine let's make it 700 bucks just to round it up so seven hundred dollars Bill do you have a calculator sitting right now you know what do I have my calculator here I don't somebody give me the number 700 for so it's for six weeks so 700 divided by six equals how much? Somebody got it. Bill, do you have a calculator? Who's got a number for me? Okay, right by, you dropped out. Run it by me again. $700 divided by 6 is how much? Is 116.66666. 116. And multiply 116 by 4 to give us a monthly figure. What's that, 464? 466.66. 466. So about 500 bucks. So kdp.amazon.com, producing that, articles for a fee. Uh, I have been paid on facts. So I'm just giving you some various ways that you can make money. Uh, the examiner thing is kind of cool. Uh, the other big benefit of, of doing the examiner thing is once you get certified as one of their reporters and check this out, to me this is by far the single biggest benefit is you can get into certain events 
for free. So if I want to go to an event and it's in a topic area that I cover, it is very probable that I will get press passes or press, you know, I will be considered from the press, which is kind of cool. Um, now, before we, I'm going to leave and make sure that we have time for Dave Hamilton at the end here. So I wanted to just briefly cover um, the fact that I'm, I've, been, uh, I've been working just recently here with, um, <clears throat> I've been working here with um, a number of people um, at ClickBank in a consulting capacity. And uh, the nice thing about that is that I'm not only, you know, I, I like the folks a lot, but I'm also being able to understand how valuable this is to information marketers. And so all I can say to you is if you aren't already, you'll want to use, and I'll call it CB, to generate, generate front and leads for your business. So that's a definite. So if you aren't doing it already, if you haven't gone there yet, go to ClickBank and look at the last three, uh, last at least two webinars from last week and the week before to get more information on that. Please do that. Now, uh, Dave Hamilton, could you unmute yourself, please? And Bill, could you mute yourself for a second? So Dave, are you there? Dave Hamilton? I'm here, Fred. Can you hear me? I can can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Hey there. Okay, so apparently I'm coming in and out. Do you yep. hear me? I'm that uh, it's cutting out that hissing thing, but uh, I'm with you. Okay, so I can hear you. you're getting a lot of hiss as well. Hello. You're getting a lot of hiss. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's like every two minutes it'll hiss for ten seconds you know and what? it comes Let me, back. Do perfectly. me a favor. Just uh, uh, talk a so little it's bit about be a what, go to webinar issue. Bill, uh, Dave. Talk for a second. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, well, he, Fred was talking about ClickBank, and I've been getting a lot more into ClickBank, and there's three reasons. When he just wrote, you know, if you are not already a ClickBank user, you should. Uh, if somebody asked me why, there's three reasons that I think, personally, that they've been a big deal for me. One is ClickBank handles all transactions. That's awesome. You don't need a shopping cart. You don't need a merchant account. Uh, they literally mail me checks. I go to the mailbox and get checks, which is kind of cool. The second thing is they handle all customer service issues. Occasionally, there's somebody that wants a refund. I don't get complaints. I don't get many customer service issues, but they handle that. And the third thing, and probably the biggest thing, is people pick up my product and start selling it very easily. And in, in the last month, I've probably had a dozen new affiliates that I, I didn't reach out to, I didn't seek after, and they just started selling it, and I offer a big commission, like 75%, but they just find my product and they start selling it on their site. And those three things make ClickBank a very hands-off way to sell, a very easy way to sell and make hey, a lot of money. Hey, Dave, is it still hissing a lot or did it get cut down? I don't know. I was just talking, so I didn't. I didn't hear anything. But uh, because um, I had, uh, I think uh, Sabrina is on Netflix upstairs, and I'm wondering if that's hurting our bandwidth. Uh, that that could be. Does that could it be sound part better now? I yeah. haven't heard this in about three or four minutes. Okay, good. So I just told her to get off Netflix. So maybe that was causing the problem, sort of eating up some of our bandwidth. Okay, sounds good. So now, um, Dave, why don't we show people, and let me let, let me let, uh, you know what, I'm going to do it on my screen just because I'm, I'm recording this and it'll be easier. So let me go to clickbanksuccess.com, and Dave, why don't you walk us through, uh, or let's, I guess let's, can we show what we have here, the video? Hi, Dave Hamilton here, and I want to show people people. Is this something we can just show to people? You think it'll be self-explanatory? Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, let's show this to folks. Bear with us because this is worth watching. Okay, so watch. Here we go. How easy it is to install ClickBank membership-based product sites where somebody can integrate with their ClickBank product to send people, customers, 
to a registration page and instantly into a members area where their product is waiting, all in an automated fashion, all incredibly fast if you have the right tools and the right system, which is what we have here. Before we get started, I want to show you what I've done in advance. I have already I've purchased a wish list license, uh, an optimized press license, and I've got the WP Twin file that you have to purchase, which deploys this pre-built site clone file. So, you know, this all makes sense when we get this going, but I want to put my money where my mouth is, and I have a stopwatch to show in real time how long this process actually takes for people like me and for any ClickBank customer. So, let's go ahead and get this started. Let me just say this. The site I'm going to install it on is a domain called membershipproducts.com, which as you can see just has a simple WordPress install, which of course we guide people how to do very easy. Um, and I have a Bluehost control panel open with their FTP client, which is nice that it's built in and they don't have to use something like FileZilla, which personally I use, but for beginners that can get a little complicated so in Bluehost, they got the FTP built in. They can buy their domain, have their hosting, FTP stuff all under one screen, which makes things a whole lot easier for beginners. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start the clock here, and we'll see how long it takes to have a membership site ready to integrate with ClickBank. So start the clock. Okay. First thing we're going to do is go to the FTP client, and here's my two files. There's the WP Twin deploy file, and there's my clone file. Simply, I'm going to select them both and upload them to the membership products folder, which is where WordPress is installed. So I'm simply going to begin the upload, and depending on the internet speed, it takes uh, 30 seconds or so. How am I doing? I've got 38 seconds. We're close to halfway there. Once these things are up there, okay, there's that. And, okay, let's just verify both of the files are there, WP Twin Deploy, and there's the clone file. Great, done with the FTP. All we do is come back over to our domain, which is still just a WordPress installation, and we launch that PHP file we uploaded, very simple just by putting slash WP twin deploy dot PHP, just launch that. And okay, this is how we deploy our clone. And it says choose the clone to deploy. There's only one there. And if I click deploy clone, it thinks for a few seconds. We're here at one and a half minutes. And any second now, the clone will be deployed. There it is. Now, if we click this, it will show us a fully functional site, except for one thing. When we click here, we see this. Now, the reason you don't see the site built out is because we deactivated the licenses for Optimized Press and Wishlist, because we want people to buy their own licenses. We want to do the right thing. So we just need to turn on the licenses, and the site is ready to go. So we log in. Uh, WP admin, okay, and we'll give people what their new username and password is. I'm going to stop it right here, Dave, just to tell people that if they want to, to watch the whole thing, you've gotten four minutes through this, go to clickbanksuccess.com and watch it. Now, in the event that they want to buy it, can they buy this yet, Dave? Uh, it's not completely set up. I was going to try and get that done, but... Uh, Better yet, since we talked earlier today, we're, we're looking for people that are willing to beta test this. Ah, yes. So and... let's, let's tell people here. I'm going to zap all this stuff. So uh, Dave wants beta testers. What's a beta tester? Dave, can you hear me? Beta tester, I can hear you. I just got another hiss there. Okay. But, uh, just, just somebody that's willing to go through. I've got a lot of instruction, video, screen capture stuff, and I'd just like to get some people to go through the process, build their own sites, but the requirement is they, they give me some feedback. Does it make sense? Are there any 
holes that I may have overlooked, and that helps me to perfect the process. But in return, they get it for very, very cheap, and it's theirs to use for as long as they want. Okay, and so just to let people know how much this would cost them if they wanted to try it. Now, do you have to do some additional explanation as to what this is before we tell them what, what you know, how much it's going to cost or whatever? What did, did, did when, when I stopped there at the four-minute point, well, had they gotten enough information? Well, I think the, the thing that they, that was just demoing it, the process, but the overview of what this product accomplishes is creating a membership delivery system for any of their products. The products could be downloads, it could be a series of videos, it could be written out instructions, it could be anything that fits on pages and as big as they want. But the, the, the goal is, as soon as somebody purchases their product through ClickBank, they're not taken to a download page, they're taken to a page where they create a username and password, which takes them into the members area where the product is, and they can return to that members area at any time, and this ClickBank success is pre-built. They just, you know, four minutes and it's installed, they just need to add their own content. Why would I want to do this? Because what are my benefits? It's, the benefits are it is a very, very instant way to deliver a large product. If you have a series of videos, your only choices to deliver to people are A, to ship it to them through the mail, B, ask them to download it instantly, or C, give them access to a members area where they can consume the product and return it any time. So this makes it, uh, nobody wants to do the first two because they're very difficult. The third one, as soon as you have the setup, customers funnel into the members area and they can stay as long as they want. Yeah, so what happens, now the other benefit to this that I think you're leaving out is that Let's say, for example, that I put um, my particular page for people to, to use and access the membership site on my main site, fredgleek.com forward slash product XYZ. By having people go onto that site and use the program right there, it gives, gives me more time spent on the site, which improves my Google rankings, correct? Um, absolutely. That's a, that's a big part of it. Okay. So then, now, what... What is it that, so that basically this does everything that you'd want to do sort of automatically if you were selling products on ClickBank or frankly anywhere else. So tell me, what, what are the costs involved? What are the costs involved for the product itself and for the licenses that everybody has to get? Are you there? Did I lose you? Oh, yeah, sorry, the hissing's getting a little worse, but... Uh, oh, man, I can't um, believe it. What was your last question? I'm hearing nothing on my side at all. So this is kind of... This is bothering wow. me a lot. So let us let me just see if you can... Uh, why don't... What would happen if I gave you the screen? Now, you know what? Give me the costs. Yeah. The, the, can you hear me now? Because I'm hearing a hiss right now. Yes, I can hear you. Perfect. I can. Okay. The... Uh, the quick costs, and there's three tools that you need to make this work. You need a WP Twin license, which is $97. That's the tool that clones and deploys these pre-built sites. The second thing is you need a license for optimized press, the theme we used to build it. And the third thing is you need a license for a wish list which is the membership plugin that protects and manages all the users and their login information. Okay, how so much for Optimized Twin, Press? Optimized Press and Wishlist. Optimized, Optimized Press is 90... Optimized Press, can you hear me? Yep. Okay, Optimized Press is $97, and Wishlist is either 97 for a single site license or 297 for a multi-site license. Now... People say, well, wow, that's a lot of stuff i got to buy. But I, I tell people, this makes sites in five minutes, and what you're paying for all these one-time purchase is less than what you'd hire somebody to build one of these. And now you have a system where you can reproduce it an infinite number of times, and they're full-blown membership uh, sites. They're 
really, really awesome. So once you pay this the the, the five hundred dollars, which is ninety seven, ninety seven, and two ninety seven, let's say on the high end, after you've paid that, you could do literally a thousand sites for that one flat fee, right? Absolutely. And everyone has integration to ClickBank, and everyone um, has a membership site. So yeah, it's it's infinite after that. Okay, so then what's your fee for this? If somebody wants to be a beta tester, they're going to be paying this about that much plus how much for you? Uh, well, we're going to we're going to reduce the price for beta testers down to twenty seven dollars, and that gets them into the members area with all the training. That gets them the pre built site, which is really, you know, I, I took a lot of time to build a perfect site with all the plugins and all the membership settings, and it literally works out of the box, just like they can watch in the video. So for $27, they have access to that, and really they're going to get a lot more hands-on support with me as they build these, because I'm really interested in their in their feedback for this. Okay, so what do you want them to do if they want to be a beta tester? Should they email you? Uh, actually, at this point, the best thing is if for them to email me. And we, we have a screening process because we want people who are actually going to do this and take action on it. Um, we're in a very serious uh, and rigorous testing mode. But if they email me at dave at wmmagician.com, uh, I'm going to get back to the first probably 10 people that are that we, we think are serious. And if they just type write a sentence or two about what they're going to do with it um, and their level of proficiency, we'll be getting right back to them to see if it's a good fit. About how you intend to use it. Okay, good. And, yeah, so that will be helpful. And, again, I apologize for all the, the noise on the line. I don't think – has have you heard this happen before? I haven't. So – uh, I don't know what to do here. No, uh, never. And, uh, yeah, so this is, okay, Bill says it's better now. Huh, I hope so. Um, and you know what? Maybe what we need to do is, um, I'm not sure what is causing this. Um, and it may be the number of people that we have. Let me just, let's try this for a second. Um, let me mute Avish physically on this system here. Huh, it's not letting me. That's wild. That's kind of crazy. I'm, I'm not able to mute the various people. That's kind of not. Oh, there it is. Okay. So now, Dave, do you still hear the hissing? Uh, it's intermittent. I don't hear it right now, but it's, it's on and off. Okay. So it may not have anything to do with the individual people that are on the site, on the, on the, on the webinar, but I apologize, folks. I'll try and figure out uh, what happened, but I'm not getting any hissing on my side, which is kind of odd. I don't know what's going on. It might have Fred, I just did a Google search, and, and there are other people have posted something about uh, go to meeting with this type of thing, so you're not the only one. Okay, good. So I'm glad that I'm not. But I know it's getting annoying, so I think we've covered a lot of ground here. If you want to get back to Dave with regards to this, uh, I'm going to cut it a little short just because I don't want to have people having a hard time hearing what we're doing. So, Dave, thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, Bill and Avish, thanks for being here. So, 